Congratulations. I was just wondering what went into the, what were the circumstances that dictated the move from left guard to right tackle this past season? And do you consider your, do you feel like you have a natural position or a best position? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, just kind of from like my red shirt junior year, uh, I was actually coming in to be like a tackle that year, but uh, just the way the cards fell, they, uh, the coach thought I'd be a better, uh, they wanted me at a uh, left, uh, left guard. So I was actually kind of getting reps at that for the first time because uh, I was practicing tackle my whole career there. So, uh, kind of get used to guard and um, still had a pretty successful season. Just kind of gaining confidence from uh, playing that guard that first year in the SEC. And then uh, just like the next year after uh, Coach Luke, uh, like Coach Kiffin, he got hired. And uh, they wanted me at right tackle. So then I kind of had the whole year there at right tackle, just kind of prepare and get ready. And uh, I feel like the like just kind of working out really hard over uh, quarantine really paid off, and uh, that really helped me with this whole past year with an all SEC schedule. Yeah, speaking of position changes, you were a tight end in high school. I guess how did you get from tight end to a big SEC lineman? <laughs> uh, yes, sir. Well, actually, I was uh, I was pretty much I was mainly more of a wide receiver than tight end, so I was kind of just catching balls. I had like the record for one year until uh, Ethan Reed beat it, but uh, no, I was I. I just, like catch balls all the time, but I kind of had the frame for an offensive lineman. So a lot of, a lot of teams kind of recruited me as a lineman. So I kind of knew that coming in and I just, uh, just uh, coach Luke did a great job. Just kind of teaching me the game as an O lineman. I just really flourished. I feel like just kind of developing as an O lineman as my years went on at, at uh, Ole Miss. Yeah. I've, I've read some of these stories about guys who eat five, six meals a day to bulk up for it. Was that you or, or did you, kind of get to that stage pretty pretty naturally uh I, I got there pretty naturally like i didn't eat really too much more than i really did i think uh the biggest thing was just kind of get into like an sec weight room uh just kind of uh just really just kind of developing more from a strength standpoint that really kind of took my weight off and like uh in a measure like from like not really eating six meals a day because i was pretty much kind of eating the same i was eating better but uh just also just kind of just uh using the weight room my advantage to kind of just build muscle for weight. So that was uh, – it kind of came on pretty easy when I got to Ole Miss. Royce, how does a kid from Illinois end up at Ole Miss, and what was that experience like down there? Um, I was I was actually committed to uh, Missouri for a while, like my whole junior year. And uh, uh, Coach Pinkle and their whole coaching staff kind of – Coach Pinkle kind of had like – he had cancer. He kind of got, got, got sick, and they kind of – let them go for there. So then uh, a bunch of schools kind of came in, and Ole Miss was one of the schools, and Coach Freeze and Coach Luke kind of came in pretty hard, recruited me really hard. And uh, I went down for a visit, fell in love with uh, Oxford, Mississippi, and uh, the school itself and the guys around the old line room. I really enjoyed them. So uh, I really uh, – that was like – that was one of the main things why I chose Ole Miss. So that's how I kind of ended up there. Royce, how did things change with Kiffin, and how fun was that offense to play in, even as a lineman that wasn't catching passes? Uh, uh, Coach Kiffin's offense, he was uh, just kind of coming in. He had a lot of buzz around him because it's uh, it's uh, Coach Kiffin kind of coming in, so there's a lot of publicity and stuff come along with it. But uh, when uh, Coach Kiffin and uh, Coach Levy kind of installed their offense, it kind of was one of the smoothest offenses, kind of just uh, – with the flow part of it, just kind of being able to kind of do whatever you kind of want to do because we had uh, great receivers, great running backs, a great quarterback, great old linemen. So uh, we really took advantage of that and uh, used our system, and it was just kind of – it was really been beneficial just kind of just going against an all-ICC schedule with that offense coming in, and uh, it really paid off. Hey, Royce, you're now one of six old linemen that have been drafted by these guys in the last two years. Just how do you view – uh, what's in front of you as far as competition and just trying to find your way with uh, what's become a pretty crowded group of young players? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, just kind of, just, you know, just, uh, just keep working hard, just uh, just keep practicing, and then uh, just take the most, take the advantage of my opportunity that uh, the Packers given me. So, uh, yeah, just keep working hard and just, just taking advantage of my opportunity. Yeah, what, what was the challenge from my pass protection um, standpoint for you going from guard to tackle? It's obviously – a whole different world as far as kind of athletes that you're facing. Uh, yes, sir. Like in the SEC, just uh, like in the interior, it's a lot of just a huge, like 330-pound guys who so have pretty quick twitch. 
Yeah, speaking of position changes, you were a tight end in high school. I guess, how did you get from tight end to a big SEC lineman? <laughs> then uh, when I kind of got moved out to tackle, I was kind of on the island, kind of by myself, and uh, just really had to uh, just know how to really just set square, get more technical with my technique, and uh, just kind of get used to the speed guys instead of the real – the real, uh, the real, uh, the big guys that are like 330, 340 in the SEC. So just kind of getting used to the speed, the different type of players on who I was going up against. Well, you talked earlier about your background in high school. If you, um, do you, do you think you're still sort of scratching the surface as an offensive lineman? I mean, you got 22 starts. You still think you got a lot of upside still ahead? Uh, yes, sir. I got a lot of upside kind of. Just develop more as a player, just kind of get more developed as a guard and tackle, just kind of getting used to uh, get more developed in, like, in my pass game and uh, run game, just kind of just using all – like using my athletic ability to kind of just build off of that and just kind of uh, just learning more about like the NFL speed and just uh, there's always something to get better at at the next level. So I so saw you got your degree in criminal justice. If football hadn't been an option, were you going to law school or what would you have done? Um, I probably wanted to start, I always wanted to be like a U.S. Marshal, so I probably, you got to get a couple of years experience as like a police officer, so I would have uh, probably been a police officer for a couple of years, kind of got my feet wet with that, and then hopefully try to interview for a U.S. Marshals or a DEA type of, type of agent, so that's what I'm really uh, interested in.